Alright guys, Hatch Kovic again today. I hope you're all doing better and enjoying your day so far. The final day of Major 2 qualifiers here before Miami. Some big matches upcoming, but some major drama going down last night with Scrappy having a few choice words for the Los Angeles Thieves after slamming them out of the server yesterday. But also, Kenny confirmed that he's been somewhat unwell over the last few days and that has been affecting Optics practice. They scrimmed, it seems, late last night to try and get ready for their big series today. Very much enjoyed your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new as always. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks as well to One Dog Fancy for supporting today's content. We have one game today that's almost certainly going to be a snooze fest one which might not be great quality call of duty but is important then of course the banger to close out the day if you're looking to get involved in daily fancy across all sorts of sports and esports underdog is the place to be these were scrappy's high lowers yes i believe he was actually lower on all of these despite all of the trash talk we're going to discuss here over the coming minutes and this for example is their rivals feature so this is between dashi and pred for a little while ago now but still paints the picture that either pred has more kills over map one two three or dashi plus five does so even if both players play bad they there's still a way to win. If you are in any of these eligible locations and looking to get involved, use code RABDO match any deposit you make up to the value of $100 using that link in the description box below. If you choose to play, play responsibly, of course. And let's dive straight on into the content, baby, because first of all, we've got to mention this from the flank. Zoom has been talking about this the last few days. They are going to actually go to Miami. We've been trying to figure this out on our end as well. Ace is going to go. Myself and Trey, we're not going to be there in Miami. It just didn't make sense in the end. We tried to figure things out with logistics, and there were so many complicating factors here with Miami because of the way the venue was set up and the internet provider and the power and the space on the floor and it's like it was nowhere near as simple to execute the watch party stuff we were going to try and do in person again as we did in Boston we're certainly going to be doing in Toronto and beyond this was you know one of the complications is that there was some floor space stuff involved when Azuma says they were wanting to charge the flank 15 grand a day now I don't think this is necessarily coming directly back to vision of the CDL but this is why I think this is going to apply to Scum as well that they're going to have like an Airbnb or a hotel nearby and they're going to run things from there instead of actually at the venue because of this stuff so yeah it's obviously not a great look but I understand that doing it in that convention center that might be a doing in it has caused some complications it's a shame we're not going to be at this one we couldn't get things worked out in time to realistically execute on this but um you know Toronto will be bigger and better for sure and th there were multiple complications involved in getting this to work actually a few things I wanted to mention though on the Clayster stuff because we saw of course after yesterday he got slammed out of that series 0 0.50 KT 29 kills in three maps not the best and as Clay says I went to HS to try and regain it you know pissed me off more because these guys are playing well I'll be better I promise so hopefully Clay can turn it around I really hope that he can but speaking of ACS a couple of things to mention yesterday actually because Optic versus FaZe big series of yesterday on the Saturday of the event this is um basically the Optic major right in Arlington Texas that Optic are kind of running HS Arlington and yeah Optic went up 2-0 they close out a quick little 3-0 sweep actually and as Formal says GG to phase my teammates are discussing we know that APG is gone they brought in formerly Penguin but now dead zone to their roster and they got a clean 3-0 win yesterday against FaZe who well I think are pretty much the best team in the world so if you could beat them comfortably as they did that is a statement they play at Space Station today in the winners finals the losers bracket is looking as follows so Shopify 3-1 and then FaZe took down Complexity 3-0 so it's SR FaZe in the losers semi-finals and in the upper side it's Optic Space Station the other two teams remaining in the tournament so absolutely the usual suspects I think Sentinels went out maybe top 16 or something they didn't have a good time at all but I'll keep you guys updated on that one as we go forward but also wanted to mention this storyline that's been going around the last few days with regard to Optic and their practice and Kenny because Basically, Shotzi said on stream the other day, they'd have to chalk scrims on a certain day because Kenny was unwell. And as Kenny then confirms yesterday, been really sick for like a week or so now, which is why I haven't been streaming or making YouTube videos. Definitely feeling a lot better now, though. We'll continue those soon. Playing New York for the first seed today. See you all then. Appreciate the support always. So good to see that Kenny is um, back to feeling pretty normal. But of course that has affected their practice over the last few days. And even yesterday, during the Scump watch party, I'll just share this brief clip for you guys, when Scump is sitting there thinking, hang on a second, why is Shotzi here now while we're watching the Halo late evening after the matches are over? But it seemed like Optic had decided to get another scrim set in later in the day than even the matches were on so that they could get some extra prep in for today and maybe kind of counter what they've missed out on over the last few days. So um, not ideal preparation, it seems, for this matchup, but they're putting in the work. What's up? Away with it. Frosty hits Optic the phase, yeah. With the bandit, and now we're going to turn hey, our well. attention away from the oddball towards the camo. Five seconds or so till it comes up. There's an opportunity here. Fuck is, what, what shots are you doing here? They're scrimming. 
And now, dueling chance, you might be able to hear Let's Go Face Clan and screaming. Let's Go Optic mm -hmm. Chance just battling it out just as fierce. Three do fall for Face Clan. What is it, 57 68 right now? Should be a clean Did he just pick up camo? Is Beautiful. That is huge. Well. Give that ball to Formal. Yep. They're down by just about 10. Come on. So I'm sure ideally Kenny wouldn't have been on well over the last few days. They could do their practice as normal and I imagine they've still been warming up teams for their matches. That's kind of how it tends to go on the match days is that you'll warm up a team or two for the games. Then you might get some scrims in, but usually not it seems at the time that Optic are. So yeah, I guess they're putting in the work before this Subliner series. It's interesting to see how important this is going to be. I think this series today is mainly important for the confidence side because Optic, they beat Toronto the other week. They haven't played phase this stage, although of course they lost to them three times during the qualifiers and of course major one itself back in Boston. So if they can beat the Subliners, the team that beat phase and has been looking very difficult to beat, that's going to be a huge confidence boost going into the major because if you finish 7-0, you've got to be favourites for the major really at that point maybe FaZe because they're going to be 6-1 and one probably and they're looking difficult to stop and we'll see them play Los Angeles Grillas today it's kind of wide open for the major and Toronto played some great COD yesterday as well but remarkably enough Toronto and Vegas have the same numbers all across the board. Geo is arguably near the top or right at the top of the Rookie of the Year standings right now. Pretty sure he has a top 10 overall league KD already. Now, yes, he just come in for stage two. They had a pretty easy run here, Vegas. I don't expect them to maintain this kind of win percentage going forwards. But you've got to say, I mean, you look at Ultra... The major one champions, they finished with a 5 and 2 series count this stage and a 17 and 10 map count. Vegas finished with a 5 and 2 series count and a 17 and 10 map count, which is pretty remarkable. Now, Ultra won the head to head here because they won the head to head actually during the game when they played. It was a pretty close game for you guys, my member. They played the game four. Vegas smoked them 6 0 on the Rio search, and then they lost like a 250 247 Grueler, I think, on the Rio Hardpoint game four. But it was a close series, and that, of course, means as the four fourth and fifth seed respectively that they play each other round one of the major so more than likely if you're opting if you're new york you're not really fighting for the number one seed because you're like damn well if we get the number one seed we get to play the eighth best team which is significantly easier than the seventh best team because right now it doesn't seem to make much difference to me like whoever you play round one you're going to be big favorites against but then again you know, Miami have looked pretty good the last couple of series. Do you want to play them right now? Arguably not, although the Optic certainly handled business when they played them back at the major major one, of course. Vegas, I don't want to play either. Every other team, I think, would be pretty happy to play. And even, you know, I'm not going to complain about playing Miami. I think they're still very suspect. But if there is one first round series that could potentially be interesting, it's probably the battle of these two teams. And we'll see how that plays out here in a second. But Toronto, as I said in yesterday's video, really needed to beat Thieves because they couldn't afford to become the sixth seed and play phase round one that wasn't going to be in their playbook and i think the guys made it quite clear the other day actually clinic certainly did that you know looking to get the revenge from cami's being dropped by thieves basically they actually after they'd won the series scrap was talking a bit of trash clinic was like waving goodbye on the cameras and stuff which i thought was okay pretty interesting and toronto also dropped cami like let's maybe not be so blunt about it but to be fair that was a different time and different things were happening back then and yeah thieves got rid of cami obviously these are his boys they wanted to get revenge most certainly they did because they signed him in this series it wasn't pretty game one was i don't know it was competitive for a time it didn't end particularly well game two on the search and destroy as usual afro played well as he does in the searches not the case however in the respawn modes ghosty was the standout player though and map three ghosty was trying his best went on an eight spree that was more kills ghosty got in his eight spree than crimp or nasty got in the entire map and then map four was a shambles afro had a point two eight so yeah five kills crib by nine kills just absolutely no impact from the smgs i mean 1600 damage for both of your smgs like it's just so over at that point so it's interesting for thieves because we seem to flip flop a lot and i feel like the conversation of these guys flip flops quite a lot actually between oh well they're improving they're doing okay because they finished this stage four in three like it's been okay but they seem to vary a lot between 
playing a series and getting absolutely run through by a top team or doing pretty well against a, a worse team. So, and to be fair, Thieves, they had a pretty hard schedule here. So for them to get four wins, is not bad. And I do feel like they will make the World Championship with the way that they're playing it. But they are just a little bit away from being able to compete with the top dogs, right? So as Scrappy says to Gwyn the other day or yesterday, I respect it, should have left it out. We talked about that in depth last night. And then Gwyn comes out with like, you know, the, the index finger up type thing. And then Scrappy decides to reflect this after they slam Thieves and says, terrible team, terrible terrible players, terrible players. And I don't really blame him for saying this. When you look at their roster, you look at these numbers and you think, yeah, damn, that ain't pretty. Like, Ghosty's been good for these guys. Crimp has had, like, one good series. Afro's had, like, one or two good series. Nasty, I think, has actually been pretty damn solid. And if you look at Nasty's damage and his impact, it's actually pretty good. Like, the SMGs sometimes just completely disappear in the respawn modes. So I don't blame for what Scrappy says at all. And they did play well in this particular series. But he is definitely twisting the knife on those guys. So Toronto, when it mattered, they turned up. But to be fair, they did lose that map to Search and Destroy. Had it gone game five, I think it would have been very interesting. The other teams will be confident playing Toronto at the Major that they are going to be vulnerable in the Search and Destroys. These, though, are the standings right now. So Subliners or Optic, one of those is going to be the top seed. I think if Optic lose and FaZe were to win, then it's quite plausible that FaZe would get the number two seed over Optic. So Optic might be the third seed, in which case they would play probably Thieves. But um, then it's Boston, it's Miami, it, it's Ravens that are fighting up for that final spot. So Boston need to win. That's basically how it works today. If they win, they go to three and four. That's fine. They lock up the seventh seed. If they were to lose, then actually, even though Surge can't make it anymore, Ravens would actually make it at that point. So Ravens at 2-5 in five with a tragic defeat yesterday would actually make it into the league here, which is so bad, or make it into the winner's brackets here. I don't know how that's possible, but um, it is what it is. So Boston need to win. If Seattle win, it doesn't matter. For Seattle, I think that Boston should be favoured there. And on the other side, it's then Optic and New York. So assuming that FaZe beat LAG, this is then what would happen. If Optic win, they get the number one seed. It'll be New York number two, FaZe number three. And if Optic lose, then it's FaZe number two, Optic third, and Subliners number one. So things could vary a fair bit actually at the bottom around here. But regardless, the top four teams have the easier games in the first rounds. Toronto Vegas is probably going to be the most interesting of the bunch based on what we are presently seeing. So yeah, Scrappy throwing salt in the wounds. They, of course, don't play today either team because they are now done for the qualifiers. But these are the three games that we do have. So FaZe Gorillas. I don't know if it's worth tuning in for this one, guys. FaZe have been, they just slam the bottom teams and Gorillas are most certainly the bottom team right now. So I'm not going to discuss that one further. Then we've got Surge Boston. This is actually quite interesting. It's not going to be the best COD to watch, I don't imagine. But Boston absolutely unequivocally need to win. Surge, it maybe doesn't matter. I can never in good faith pick Surge to win just on the way that I play the game. Just watching them run around and the fact that Hoot just gets baited every life. It's not been pretty. Unless they're really really trying to ruin Boston's day, which is probably what they have to go into this with the mentality of. I just don't really see them getting the victory. So I think Boston, I think a bit of a gruel. I'm going to take Boston in four close maps, but I feel like surely they've got to have enough to get over Surge. And if they don't, then you can basically say that this team is chalked as a roster before the major even begins. But then Subliners Optic, right? This is the one that people are looking forward to. They're going to be putting their underdog picks on, I imagine, because Optic and New York, both undefeated teams. New York have played very well so far this stage. The last stage, they had a very good record, Subliners Online. But I don't really really think that their actual performances reflected that so much. This stage, I think they do. They're 6-0 and and quite emphatically so. They've slammed the bottom teams. They beat FaZe. And I still do have my questions over Optic's um, overall map pool, right? Like, Optic have done very well. The victory against Toronto was very impressive indeed. There's probably a couple of series this stage that Optic should have lost. The Rocker one, most certainly, that I'm sure Minnesota fans don't really want to be talking about again, so we won't do. But when they played Ultra, Ultra, as they did against FaZe, gave Optic many of their best maps and especially in the search and destroy department Optic were able to play Karachi map they really like I don't think Subliners are going to allow that and look on the terminal Optic beat Ultra handily but it's not a map that Ultra plays so I still feel like from a search and destroy angle the respawns between these two teams should be very very competitive indeed and Optic could certainly win 3-1 but I feel like if it goes game 5 and I feel like it probably should go game 5 based on the strength of these teams I would give Subliners the, um, the edge for now because they showed that against FaZe a few weeks ago that they're the strongest search and destroy team so I feel like it should apply here as well so I'm going to take New York in five but um, I think either way it shouldn't matter too much for the major both teams should be very comfortable through winners round one but very much intrigued to your thoughts in the comment section below hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new take care and I'll see you next time